Okay, here we are with the LC iLive Logic Environment. Hi, I'm Richard Howie, and today I'm going to show you a Logic Audio Environment that I've created that lets a Mackie control talk to Alan and Heath's iLive Digital Mixing System. I've got the uh, T112 server set up in the background and the editor software so that I can, um, so that you can just see that the system is completely integrated and linked. For example, I'll show you here. If I'm moving faders, you can see the Mackie control is moving, not only the, uh, is controlling the software, which is of course uh, linked to the surface. It is also uh, direct fader feedback as well, so it's, it's completely transparent both directions. There's no fader feedback problems or anything like that. You've got fader banks on the Mackie control that allow you to access any channel on the iLife surface. For example, I'm using channel 1, 2 and 3 there now. Um, I can get direct access to every channel strip that's available in the iLive system. So, um, for example, if I want to get to the DCAs, you hit the audio tracks key on the uh, Mackie control, you'll instantly take the surface to DCAs 1 to 8. If you want DCAs 9 to 16, hit the bank up. I'll go back to DCA 1 and 2. You can see here that the DCA levels and mutes are completely integrated with the software. If you want to go back to you, your channel view, simply hit audio instrument track on the quick access keys. We're now back to um, on the, wherever you were. So in fact, if I was, uh, if I take this bank up, for example, to control channel 11 and 12, uh, if I go to DCAs, we're on DCA, there's the DCAs. If we go back to there, we're straight back to where you were currently mixing on 11 and 12. You can also access all your mix outputs by pressing the buses key. And here we've got mix one to eight. There again, you can you can you know mix nine to sixteen, so that all your mix outputs are effectively sitting there as well. There you go. So you can very very quickly get to your outputs and get back to your your channel inputs again as well. So you can get forward and back between channels, mixes, effects, um, effects sends, effects returns, DCAs, and of course you can scroll whatever channel you want to get to. Because Logic Audio is a sequencer, the heart of it's a sequencer, you can actually sequence any set of fader moves that you like. Simple as recording it like that, and playing the track back. So you can get quite clever with this. You could do automated crossfades, whatever you like. There's 32 inbuilt memories which are independent of the iLive scenes. So you've got uh, scene recall of levels, mutes, DCA assignments, um, which are all stored in the logic environment. You need to simply set the scene number that you want to work with. Set levels and mutes. So let's just say we've got channels 2 and 3 muted, and 5 and 6 muted. And we'll set a, set a scene here. So we've set that scene, you'll see that it's mirrored on the surface. Then simply hit the save. They can be simply scrolled up and down by dragging the mouse up and down. You've got a next and a previous key to either advance the scene or to go back the scene. You've got a, a recall key and an auto key. Auto key's on at the moment. If auto's off, you can advance or go back on scene memories. And when you've got the scene you want, scene six, you can then recall that. So you can either be in auto mode or manual recall mode. There's two user assignable keys, so you can assign which channels you want to be recalled so you can customize the memories using these two keys so that you could have for example user key one may for example only recall the channels one to eight or user key two for example may only recall channels 33 to 64 or something like that if you were doing a split monitor system uh, a couple of recall options for memories we've got track recall uh, what track recall does when you turn that on is enables the Mackie control to advance scenes using the um, markers to go forward and back scenes and you've also got the scene display in the bars, beats and measures. The next key is uh, an iLive scene link key. What that does is um, if you recall a scene on the iLive, it actually synchronizes and will recall the same memory in the logic environment. 
a DCA assign and solo mode key. We'll get into that in a minute. DCA select and DCA clear. And a main master fader assign, which you can click hold on this and you can assign the master fader to be any one of the 16 DCAs or it can be the main mix left right. There's two different modes of operation with the DCAs. You can have a DCA assign mode and a solo mode. When it's in DCA assign mode, you select the DCA that you want to assign to. I'm just going to leave it on 16 at this point. And then using the solo keys on the Mackie control, simply pressing those will assign to that particular DCA. So you can see it assigning DCAs as simple as that. You can change banks and assign whatever DCA you want to, to get to. The DCA clear key, simply if you press that, it will clear the associated DCA. Once you've assigned the DCAs, you can then change to solo mode. So, you'll notice in solo mode that when you solo a, solo a, a button on the Mackie, that it unassigns it from the channel, and at the same time, it mutes every other channel that you've assigned to the same DCA. And you can select, of course, more than one. So you'll see it, um, you can um, basically, it's, a, it's effectively a solo in place for the channels that you've assigned to a DCA. So you get to decide which channels get muted um, when you hit any one of the solo buttons. To um, show you how it's all uh, connected up, essentially, uh, we've got two MIDI interfaces required. We've got the uh, the Mackie, which has got an interface, which has got a little cheap interface there. It's just a USB MIDI interface, so that's using one MIDI port on there. Uh, we've also got a second MIDI out output cable. This uh, particular one is feeding my Tascam uh, MIDI device, and that is connected to the mix rack um, MIDI in and out on there. We've also, we're running this wirelessly at the moment just through a wireless router. So the laptop in fact is actually connecting to the uh, mix rack wirelessly. So the only connections are, are actually the MIDI connections. Screen set 2 gives you the stereo link switches. As soon as you touch uh, the link channel, the other one will actually follow it. So you can do a, a stereo link and you can do that for any channel. You can use screen set 3 to create a custom strip layout on the Mackie control. The track layout in, in this uh, range window is the same as what you'll see on your Mackie control. So say for example you um, only want to have the first 8 channels, you simply delete these coloured regions on tracks that you don't want to have showing up. So for example select everything up to channel 64, hit delete on your key to get rid of those and then hit shift delete to delete them out of the uh, range window. So I'll just get, carry on here and, and delete, say for example some of these effects here delete those, shift delete to get rid of them, I'll get rid of the uh, some of these effects returns, delete, shift delete, um, I'll leave two DCAs in there, get rid of the rest, again delete, shift delete, um, mix outputs, I know for example that um, mix 21 and 22 are my main mix left and right, and so we'll just clean the rest out there, delete that and delete that, so there you go, I've just created a custom arrange window that has eight uh, inputs, two effects sends, two effects returns, a couple of DCAs and the mix. If you hit the global view you will also get access back to all of the tracks that are available so even though you've got a custom view your global view will get you back so you've got access to all of the channels again. Turning global view off you're back to your um, arrange window layout. Now you can rearrange the order of tracks um, so for example I can if I want to shift the returns to somewhere else, you can simply click and drag them, and drag them and drop them off. Um, you can rename tracks, so for example, um, simply rename the track in here, track 2 for example, we'll name that snare. So that's how you do a custom layout and custom naming of the tracks in Logic. So there you have it, the Mackie Control, controlling an ILO. Cheers, thanks for watching. <laughs>